And I know Esquire is uh, renowned for using the Meat Fighter, so I haven't seen him use uh, Pit at all, actually. Yeah, I've seen him use it uh, today. Okay. Definitely seen him use it in the past, but I don't even remember, to be completely honest. Like, I just remember him playing other characters. Wow. Pretty good combo there. So Redeemer getting those up airs right after it, already racking up 62%, oh, no. and he was opt to take him out with that uh, spike. Oh, yeah, he was coming in hot. Redeemer with the safe recovery. Just now, on stage. I wonder, um, does Pit have like the same like ease of time uh, on edge guard or uh, ledge get up that Dark Pit does? I believe so. I don't think that is. Oh, in the oh. cave. Okay, good thing he still had his jump yeah. in there. Yeah, that could have been bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but 103. You can see an up smash from Redeemer at oh. any moment. That, that was actually the time to do it. Yeah, that back air by Esquire right there was definitely a mistake. <laughs> he did down throw and either he read it completely wrong or he just missed unquote. Had to be one of the two. And the good thing about Pit is that he can wait out uh, yeah. Redeemer's uh, baiting with this uh, when Pit tries to land back on stage. Yeah. Is there a reason he's not going for cape on the uh, on the arrows? There's um, been a few times where Esquire just kind of runs away and shoots I th arrows. And... I think it's just easier just to perfect oh, shield it. It's easier just to perfect shield and not have to cape because uh, the cape does have a little bit of wind up and like. Yeah, cool that's what I was thinking. Well. Like maybe if he shoots another arrow, it'd actually be bad for him. Yeah, it takes about, I think Trevi tipped me off that says it takes about three, uh, three frames to drop shield. So, I think that's better than Mario Kart. Oh, you go perfect two. shield it. Yeah. It be any frames, really. Alright, huh. yeah. I think he could've made more of that, but I guess not, not low. Yeah, uh, he went for the sure thing with that, because I think that's, uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Did it off stage, but you know, just to that. It happens. Yo, Redeemer has gotten a lot of mileage out of like standing back air, pretty much. Right. So he's just doing it on the stage. And Try to keep it that time, and he had his jump. Okay. Okay. Makes it back. So that was close. But it looks like he was coming back. Ooh. Trying to be sniper Esquire. <laughs> Navy Master. Navy Master. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you know, snipers in the Navy. <laughs> Underwater. Snip down. The <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That super armor came through. Mm -hmm. 68%. But he's got to play really careful because, again, Mario can just combo and just get that right back. Very possible. And the kill percentage. Two frames at that time. With the dash that off the way, yeah. Hmm. I'm sure he went through. Oh yeah, because the hurt box is extended. See, he learned his lesson. <laughs> he saw him side B on stage last time. Get it? Get Out of that snap, super gets it then. Mm -hmm. God, that up B is huge. Oh yeah. I never remember how big it is until I see it. <laughs> Whoa. That's why we're playing it smart, choosing his battles, moving in when he knows he can get an attack off. Not rushing in just to get damage and possibly skip up. Takes it in once again with a back air. That's like his only neutral option in this game, it seems. Mm -hmm. Back air. And grab. Gets a grab out of that. See if we can get anything off of that. That was actually a really good arrow. It's just a uh, redeemer. Oh, just the slide up smash. Very yeah, nice. That up smash is too good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe... Uh, my friend that uses Dark Pit, uh, Bears, he said, like, the timing for that spike with the down air for Pit is very finicky. Hmm. At least to his knowledge. I'm not sure myself, because I haven't used Pit at all, but... Yeah, I definitely wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know much about Taking Pit. his word for it. I've been told that, uh, Dark Pit is slightly stronger and slightly easier to kill. Hmm. Just in general, but I don't know the specifics, you know, exactly what's... what's what. Alright, since this is loser side, we'll probably get stage bands here. I can see it. And we're on final D. Alright. So, no platforms for Mario. Three, Stick him with Pit. Doesn't one. opt for uh, Mii Brawler. Which is odd, because he really was, uh, what Trevi said in the chat earlier, he was, he was playing it like Mii Brawler logic. And using a lot of Nair to approach, which he's right, he shouldn't, because a lot better moves to approach with with Pit. 
Um, okay. Personally, I don't know them off the top of my head, but <laughs> I know there are better options. I think forward air would probably be the best option. Yeah, forward air is yeah. great. Uh, he could get a grab anytime. But Nair isn't, isn't the best. Because usually after you even hit with Nair, uh, they'll have frame advantage, so they can just start whatever they want after it. Oh, it just backed off because he knew he was too far out. Yeah. yeah. If he had upbeat, he would have been. It would have been in a, a world of hurt there. <laughs> Very raw uh, side smash. Yeah. Kind of, wow. <laughs> First I was like, wait, he's not. Like, oh, okay. oh yeah. Um, another thing I learned over this week. Um, the Mario Brothers and Peach have a uh, certain tech you can do on Final Destination as well as uh, Duck Hunt and Town and City, where you can roll towards the edge and fall off of it and immediately back air. I remember seeing stuff yeah. about that. Um, um, there was a video posted on Twitter, and like Luck and uh, Boss from Xanadu favored it, so it got pretty popular. And uh, because the hurt box is, ex is extended over the stage, um, it's able to cancel out the falling animation, and it makes you land on the stage. So it's a uh, back air cancel, much like uh, kind of like Pikachu's up and cancel. It's pretty much like standing back air. Yeah, like on the edge. Oh, good play by Redeemer right there. He uh, he knew if he got too close, he was gonna get punished for it. So just kind of back, down, wait to recover. Wow, that up smash! Up smash he he again, putting in work, and Redeemer. Is this? This looks to be best of five actually. Go. Okay. <sighs> oh yeah, since it's quarters, that means there's only two matches go around, and semis is one. And then Loser's Finals is one. Okay. I think he's doing top eight as best of five. Okay. On monthlies, at least. Little Ooh. Little Mac from Esquire. I, I saw a this. little bit of this, I think, in friendlies. I mean, it's still his stage choice because it's Loser's, but... Right. And he's sticking uh, with Final D. I don't know. And I have a personal in vendetta against Little Mac. But like that. I, I don't. I just don't, don't like, like the him. character against my matchup of my only character that I use Luigi because my Wii U doesn't work at home. I just don't like how cheesy he is. I mean, so it's like, long... oh, look how much I did the little man. <laughs> like, oh, he up smashed me. So long as he has stage uh, stage uh, command, sorry, uh, yeah. Little Mac is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. But that's the other thing too. Is like, oh, Little Mac's so good. Yeah. It's like I just threw him off stage and now he's dead. Mm -hmm. That's not. That shouldn't happen. But if Esquire can play Little Mac right, that might be hard to get. He does have a great guys. Little Mac, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know, Mario's a really good character, and Redeemer's a really good player on top of that, so... True. He's trying to find the right time to go in, but then again, yeah, Redeemer does have to protect all of the things. Little Mac earlier against Vex, didn't he? Uh, I yeah. believe he did, and yeah. he took a game because uh, he got KO Punch charged after the first stock. Oh, yeah. a little bit, and they got a down tilt. Let's see if you can make some KO punch mm -hmm. shenanigans happen this game. And it's just about on deck. Good Next hit will probably get him there. There it is. There it is, yeah. Oh. That's, that was great, Save actually. It, yeah. I was going to say, that sucks because he got the down tilt, so he literally could have done it right away, but yeah, it's but definitely most, better that he saved it and got most a Most likely, back. the KO punch is going to be gone if uh, Redeemer can get enough moves in. This is true. There it ah, is. There it is, yeah. So, losing it early, unfortunately, but... There's really no good time to use it. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, he could have built. Oh, oh, what a great con uh, connect there with that spike. He didn't even need to get him off the stage. No, <laughs> he just sent him to the shadow realm. <laughs> like, you stay down there. You hold I don't that. know what's down there with all those clouds, but that's where you're going. Because I kind of want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when oh, you get back. Oh, that was scary. Yeah, he has low shield, so he's got to play either really defensively or just be ready to take a lot of hits. Oh, yeah. Skittle shield is dangerous. Oh! Wow, that was super nice. dangerous. Yeah. And he I didn't know that charge had a super... Caped! That's, it. that's yeah. it. That's unfortunate. Vanishing it. But hey, Mario. that's that's the matchup. Mm -hmm. And 3-0. Good job from Redeemer. And he'll move on to uh, Loser's Semis. That's great stuff. I don't know if it's just that skin, but it really looks like Mac is wearing a uh, basketball jersey. Yeah, it's a little low cut in the...